Good night. We are on Wednesday. And I'm going to share with you the liturgical readings for Wednesday, 8th of May, 2024. We are in the sixth week of Easter and um, we're preparing, in our readings anyway, for Pentecost, which is not that far away. I hope you've all had a good day. I actually went to the seaside. I had to return something that was too small. I couldn't even try it on. It must have been for a child. I ordered a bolero and when I looked at it, it'd be lucky to hit fit a, a small grandchild. <laughs> so I had to go out. So I decided to go to Hunt Stanton and visit Sainsbury's. I, I like Sainsbury's, but we don't have one here. And... Uh, Yes, I, I, like, I like the little trip out and the bus pack and uh, then I've been sorting things out and trying to help other people with stuff and should have been getting on with what I need to do. But it doesn't matter, I'm here and ready now. And um, I've got requests for prayer, uh, not the normal kind, the deliverance kind and the healing kind. So because these readings are short, I plan to read Father Chad repurges healing and deliverance prayers um, I have written down the numbers of the pages that I want but I haven't marked them or anything <clears throat> they're already marked to the hilt with recording them so in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen prayer to my guardian angel O angel of God my guardian dear to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day, it's still day, be at my side, to light to God, to rule and guide. Amen. And the prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for all of us. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, and do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. An act of faith. My God, I believe in you, and all that your church teaches because you have said it, and your word is true. Amen. An act of hope. My God, I hope in you, for grace and for glory, because of your promises, your mercy and your power. Amen. An act of charity. My God, because you are so good, I love you with all my heart, and for your sake I love my neighbour as myself. Amen. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I give you my heart and my soul. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, assist me in my last agony. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, may I breathe forth my soul in peace with you. Amen. An act of resignation. O Lord my God, whatever manner of death is pleasing to you, with all its anguish, pains and sorrows, I now accept from your hand with a resigned and willing spirit. Amen. And a prayer for the faithful departed. We all have ones we love to have gone ahead. Based on Psalm 130, out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark our guilt, Lord, who would survive? What with you is found forgiveness? For this we revere you. 
My soul is waiting for the Lord. I count on his word. My soul is longing for the Lord, more than watchman for daybreak. Let the watchman count on daybreak and Israel on the Lord, because with the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Israel indeed he will redeem from all its iniquity. And for those who've died, eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray, O God, the creator and redeemer of all the faithful, grant to the souls of your servants departed the remission of all their sins, that through our pious supplication they may obtain that pardon which they've always desired, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. So now the prayer before reading sacred scripture. Before reading sacred scripture, open my heart, O Holy Spirit, to receive your inspired word. Grant me wisdom to understand what you want to teach me and strength of will to follow wherever you lead. Amen. Excuse me. I think I should get this hanky here. So the first reading, there is a theme. We must always be ready to listen to the Spirit when interpreting the signs of the times. The first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, 15, verse, then 22 to 18, 1. And the theme, The God whom I proclaim is in fact the one whom you already worship without knowing it. Paul's escort took him as far as Athens and went back with instructions for Silas and Timothy to rejoin Paul as soon as they could. Paul stood before the whole council of the Areopagus and made this speech. Men of Athens, I have seen for myself how extremely scrupulous you are in all religious matters, because I noticed as I strolled round admiring your sacred ob- ob- monuments that you had an altar inscribed to an unknown God. Well, the God whom I proclaim is in fact the one whom you already worship without knowing it. Since the God who made the world and everything in it is himself, Lord of heaven and earth, He does not make his home in shrines made by human hands, nor is he dependent on anything that human hands can do for him, since he can never be in need of anything. On the contrary, it is he who gives everything, including life and breath, to everyone. From one single stock he not only created the whole human race so that they could occupy the entire earth but he decreed how long each nation should flourish and what the boundaries of its territory should be. And he did this 
so that all nations might seek the deity and by feeling their way towards him succeed in finding him. Yet in fact he is not far from any of us since it is in him that we live and move and exist as indeed some of your own writers have said. We are all his children. Since we are the children of God, we have no excuse for thinking that the deity looks like anything in gold, silver or stone that has been carved and designed by a man. God overlooked that sort of thing when men were ignorant. But now he is telling everyone everywhere that they must repent because he has fixed a day when the whole world will be judged and judged in righteousness and he has appointed a man to be the judge and God has publicly proved this by raising this man from the dead. At this mention of rising from the dead some of them burst out laughing. Others said, We would like to hear you talk about this again. After that, Paul left them. But there were some who attached themselves to him and became believers among them. Donisaius, the Aeropagite, and a woman called Damaris and others besides. After this, Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm is Psalm 148 and your response and mine is Your glory fills all the heaven and earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his host. Hallelujah. 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 All earth's kings and peoples earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. Your glory fills all heaven and earth. Alleluia! Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendour of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. Your glory fills all heaven and earth. Alleluia! 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 He exalts the strength of his peoples. He is the praise of all his saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Alleluia! Alleluia, Alleluia. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven, where Christ is, sitting at God's right hand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I shall ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, 
Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, John chapter 16, 12 to 15. Glory to you, O Lord. And the theme, the spirit of truth will lead you to the complete truth. Jesus said to his disciples, I still have many things to say to you, but they would be too much for you now. But when the spirit of truth comes, he will lead you to the complete truth since he will not be speaking as from himself, but will say only what he has learnt, and he will tell you of the things to come. He will glorify me, since all he tells you will be taken from what is mine. Everything the Father has is mine. That is why I said, all he tells you will be taken from what is mine. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we'll have a brief look at this and reflect on the readings. In the first reading, Paul addresses the people of Athens as seekers after truth. He declares that God wanted all nations to seek the deity and by feeling their way towards him to succeed in finding him. Moreover, he says that God who wants all people to seek and find him has drawn close to them. Because it is in him that we live and move and have our being. Paul is able to announce to the people of Athens that the God whom they have been seeking has been fully revealed in the life, death and resurrection of Jesus who is God's beloved Son. We have come to believe in Jesus as the full revelation of God. But that does not mean that our seeking has to come to an end. Those of us who celebrate Jesus as, as the truth remain seekers after the truth because we recognise that faith is not perfect vision. As Paul says, his first letter to the Corinthians, now we see as in a mirror, dimly. That's 1 Corinthians 13, 12. Even as people of faith, we remain on a journey, the journey towards what Jesus is in the gospel reading calls the complete truth. None of us, no matter how strong, or deep our faith as the complete truth. Jesus declares that one of the roles of the Holy Spirit is to lead us to the complete truth. He's saying we've only got part of it. By calling to our minds all that Jesus has said and done. As Jesus declares in our reading, all he tells you, will be taken from what is mine. So we're on a shared journey, led by the Holy Spirit. And while we may be further on that journey than the people of Athens, in the first reading, we still have a way to go. Every day, as people of faith, we can set out again, calling on the Holy Spirit to lead us even and ever closer to the complete truth. 
I knew that the readings would be short, so I've prepared uh, my notebook here with what pages of the um, Father Chad Repurge's book um, that I have, if I can reach it. There's quite a few pages I marked up, so I'm going to start in a moment. I'd have that as near as possible. Don't want any switchings off of its own. So I'm just going to look for what I think I have to. I'm going to start at page 61 rather than go backwards. That makes sense, doesn't it? To go forwards rather than backwards. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to do the litany of St. Michael the Archangel. Because I don't do it that often with the public, um, but I, I like doing it. But I won't do it in the Latin, because you won't understand it. <laughs> Not that I do, I just know they're side by side. So, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Christ hear us, Christ hear us, Christ graciously hear us, Christ graciously hear us, God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us, God the Son, the Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, Queen of Angels, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Saint Michael, abundant font of divine wisdom, pray for us. Saint Michael, most perfect adorer of the divine word, pray for us. Saint Michael, whom God crowned with honour and glory, pray for us. Saint Michael, most powerful prince of the heavenly host, pray for us. Saint Michael, standard bearer of the most holy trinity, pray for us. Saint Michael, guardian of paradise, pray for us. Saint Michael, guide and consoler of the people of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, splendor and fortitude of the church militant, pray for us. Saint Michael, honor and joy of the church, triumphant, pray for us. Saint Michael, light of the angels, pray for us. Saint Michael, protection of orthodox people, pray for us. Saint Michael, strength of those who fight under the standard of the cross, pray for us. Saint Michael, light and hope of souls near death, pray for us. Saint Michael, our most sure aid, pray for us. Saint Michael, help in our adversities, pray for us. Saint Michael, herald of the everlasting judgment, pray for us. Saint Michael, consoler of souls languishing in purgatory, pray for us. Saint Michael, receiver of the souls of the elect after death, pray for us. Saint Michael, our prince, pray for us. Saint Michael, our defender, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, Saint Michael the Archangel, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. 
O Lord Jesus Christ, may your continual blessing sanctify us and grant us through the intercession of St. Michael the wisdom that teaches us to lay up our treasure in heaven and choose eternal goods over those of this world. Thou who lives and reigns for ever. Amen. Prayers to Saint Michael the Archangel and other angels. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defence against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. That was prayer A. Now prayer B. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the battle, that we perish not in the fear of judgment. Amen. Prayer C. O God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we call upon thy holy name and humbly beseech thy clemency that through the intercession of the ever immaculate Virgin and our Mother Mary and of the glorious Archangel Saint Michael, thou wouldst vouchsafe to help us against Satan and all the other unclean spirits who are prowling about the world to the great peril of the human race and the loss of souls. Amen. Prayer D. O God, who in wondrous order dost ordain and constitute the services of men and angels, Mercifully grant that our life may be defended on earth by them that stand near thee, evermore ministering to thee in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer E. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom his love commits me here. Ever this night be at my side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Prayer F. It's very long. O glorious Prince of the Heavenly Host, Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in the battle and in the fearful warfare that we are waging against the principalities and powers against the rulers of this world of darkness, against the evil spirits, come thou to the assistance of men whom Almighty God created immortal, making them in his own image and likeness and redeeming them at a great price from the tyranny of Satan. Fight this day the battle of the Lord with thy legions of holy angels, even as of old thou didst fight against Lucifer, the leader of the proud spirits and all his rebel angels who were powerless to stand against thee. Neither was their place found any more in heaven, and that apostate angel transformed into an angel of darkness who still creeps about the earth to encompass our ruin, was cast headlong into the abyss together with his followers. But behold that first enemy of mankind and a murderer from the beginning has regained his confidence, changing himself into an angel of light. He goes about with the whole multitude of the wicked spirits to invade the earth 
and blot out the name of God and of his Christ to plunder, to slay and to consign to eternal damnation the souls that have been destined for a crown everlasting life. This wicked serpent, like an unclean torrent, pours into men of depraved minds and corrupt hearts. The poison of his malice, the spirit of lying, impiety and blasphemy and the deadly breath of impurity and every form of vice and iniquity. These crafty enemies of mankind have filled to overthrowing with gall and wormwood the church, which is the bride of the Lamb, without spot. They have laid profane hands upon her most sacred treasures. Make haste, therefore, O invincible prince, to help the people of God against the inroads of the lost spirits and grant us the victory. Amen. I'll go to the other pages and then I'll come back to this one. So I'm going to go to um, 75, Anima Christi. And then I'll come back to the saints one, which is on page 67. Yeah, that's 67. Excuse me. Anima Christi, soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from thee. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come to thee. That with thy saints I may praise thee for ever and ever. Amen. So the next page I have to go to is uh, 83 to 86. These prayers are for healing. The first prayer is longer than the second. It's just headed just for healing. Lord Jesus, thou camest to heal our wounded and troubled hearts. I beg thee to heal the torments that cause anxiety in my heart. And you can just say Amen at the end and it's yours. I beg thee in a particular way to heal all who are the cause of sin. I beg thee to come into my life and heal me of the psychological harms that struck me in my early years and from the injuries that they have caused throughout my life, Lord Jesus. Thou knowest my burdens. I lay them all on thy good shepherd's heart. I beseech thee, by the merits of the great open wound in thy heart, to heal the small wounds that are in mine. Heal the pain of my memories, so that nothing that has happened to me will cause me to remain in pain and anguish, filled with anxiety. Heal, O Lord, all those wounds that have been the cause of all the evil that is rooted in my life. I want to forgive all those who have offended me. Look to those inner sores that make me unable to forgive. Thou who camest to forgive the afflicted of heart, 
please heal my own heart. Heal my Lord Jesus, those intimate wounds that cause me physical illness. I offer thee my heart. Accept it, Lord. Purify it and give me the sentiments of thy divine heart. Help me to be meek and humble. Heal me, O Lord, from the pain caused by the death of my loved ones, which is oppressing me. Grant me to regain peace and joy in the knowledge that thou art the resurrection and the life. Make me an authentic witness to thy resurrection, thy victory over sin and death, thy living presence among us. Amen. 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 The Spiritual Warfare Prayer Heavenly Father, I love thee, I praise thee, and I worship thee. I thank thee for sending thy Son Jesus, who won victory over sin and death for my salvation. I thank thee for sending thy Holy Spirit, who strengthens me, guides me, and leads me into fullness of life. I thank thee for Mary, my heavenly mother, who intercedes with the holy angels and saints for me. Amen. Lord Jesus, I place myself at the foot of thy cross and ask thee to cover me with thy precious blood, which pours forth from the most sacred heart and thy most holy wounds. Purify me, O Lord. O Lord, in the living water that flows from thy heart, I ask thee to surround me, Lord Jesus, with thy holy light. Amen. Heavenly Father, let thy healing grace flow through the maternal and paternal generations to purify my family line of Satan and sin. I come before thee, Father, and ask forgiveness for myself, my relatives, my ancestors, and for any calling upon powers that set themselves up in opposition to thee, or that do not offer true honour to Jesus Christ in the most holy name of Jesus. I now reclaim any territory that was handed over to Satan and place it under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the power of thy Holy Spirit, reveal to me, Father, any people I need to forgive and any areas of unconfessed sin. Reveal aspects of my life that are not pleasing to thee, any unforgiveness, I submit to thee my sins and I submit to thee all of the ways that Satan has a hold on my life. O oh, Father, for this knowledge I thank thee for thy forgiveness and thy love. Amen. Lord Jesus, in thy holy name, I bind all evil spirits of the air, water, ground and underground and netherworld. I further bind in the name of Jesus any and all emirates of the satanic headquarters and I ask Jesus to pour his precious blood on the air, atmosphere, water, ground and their fruits around us, the underground and the netherworld. Amen. Heavenly Father, allow thy Son Jesus to come now with the Holy Spirit, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the holy angels and the saints, to protect me from all harm and to keep all evil spirits from taking revenge on me in any way. Lord Jesus, fill me with charity, compassion, faith, gentleness, hope, humility, joy, kindness, light, love, mercy, modesty, patience, peace, purity, security, serenity, tranquility, trust, truth, understanding and wisdom. 
help me to walk in thy light and truth, illuminated by the Holy Spirit, so that I may praise, honour and glorify these. Glorify our Father in time and in eternity, for thou, Lord Jesus, art the way, the truth and the life, and thou hast come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And I say these for all my followers who need these kind of prayers and myself, and my own family, and my priest friends. We all come under attack. We all need healing and protection and deliverance prayers. So I'm now going to pray this healing prayer. Holy Spirit, come down and reclaim my body, which was consecrated to thee at my baptism, filling my entire dimension quality from the top of my head to the bottoms of my feet fill my faculties with thy presence my senses memory imagination cogitative power common sense power intellect will and appetites take up thy residence in all aspects of my body and soul leaving no place unfilled closing off any doors, caves or portals to the demons, driving them to the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ, never to return again. Heal me of the wounds and name the wounds in your heart. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Continuing with a prayer for inner healing. Heavenly Father, we ask that thy love flow upon your servant. Name yourself. I'm Janet. May the blood of Christ cover all wounds and restore all to wholeness and life. May the fire from our Lady's heart now enter. Thy servant and anoint all with the Holy Spirit and blind Satan May St. Joseph wrap thy servant with blessings and peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Precious blood of Jesus, flow through and you name the, yourself or the person you're praying for. Mary, Mother of Divine Love, Take the precious blood of Jesus to the throne of God, the Father, and offer it in sweet and humble adoration. Then send it back, flowing by the Holy Spirit, as a healing of body, mind, heart and soul. Eternal Father, we offer thee the wounds of our Lord Jesus Christ, the tears of the Immaculate Heart of Mary as she gazed on the suffering of Christ. As she gazed in the prayers of St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, to ask you to grant the favour of complete and total healing, name yourself or the person. Lord Jesus, thou camest to heal our wounded and troubled hearts. I beg thee to heal the torments that cause anxiety in the hearts of my friends and my followers. I beg thee in a particular way to heal all who are the cause of sin in his or her life. I beg thee to come into their lives and heal him or her of the psychological wounds that have stricken him or her in her early years and from the injuries that have caused throughout his or her life. Amen. Lord Jesus, thou know the person's burdens. I lay them all on thy sacred heart. I beseech thee by the merits of the great open wound in thy heart to heal the small wounds that are in his or hers. Heal the pain associated with his or her memories so that nothing that has happened to him or her will cause him or her to remain in pain and anguish and filled with anxiety. Heal, O oh Lord, all those wounds that have been the cause of all the evil that is rooted 
and name them in their lives. He or she wants to forgive all those who've offended him or her. He or she wants to forgive all those who've offended him or her. Look to those inner wounds that make him or her unable to forgive. Thou camest to forgive the afflicted of heart, please heal. Name them. Heal, O Lord, from the pain caused by the death of his or her loved ones, which is oppressing him or her. Grant that he or she may regain peace and joy in the knowledge that thou art the resurrection and the life. Make an authentic witness to thy resurrection and name the person, the victory over sin and death, thy living presence among us. Amen. So, just getting closer to... I think I'll do the litany to the precious blood of the Lord Jesus and then the prayer for Wednesday. There's individual prayers in this book as well. So St. Michael, guardian, we've done that. But I'm now going to do the litany of the most precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Blood of Christ, only begotten Son of the Eternal Father, save us. Blood of Christ incarnate, Word of God, save us. Blood of Christ, of the new and eternal testament, save us. Blood of Christ, falling upon the earth in the agony, save us. Blood of Christ, shed profusely in the scourging, save us. Blood of Christ, flowing forth in the crowning with thorns, save us. Blood of Christ, poured out on the cross, save us. Blood of Christ, price of our salvation, save us. Blood of Christ, without which there is no forgiveness, save us. Blood of Christ, Eucharistic drink and refreshment of souls, save us. Blood of Christ, stream of mercy, save us. Blood of Christ, victor over demons, save us. Blood of Christ, courage of martyrs, save us. Blood of Christ, strength of confessors, save us. Blood of Christ, bringing forth virgins, save us. Blood of Christ, help of those in peril, save us. Blood of Christ, relief of the burden, save us. Blood of Christ, solace in sorrow, save us. Blood of Christ, hope of the penitent, save us. Blood of Christ, consolation of the dying, save us. Blood of Christ, peace and tenderness of heart, save us. Blood of Christ, pledge of eternal life, save us. Blood of Christ, freeing souls from purgatory, save us. Blood of Christ, most worthy of all glory and honour, save us. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Thou hast redeemed us with thy blood, O Lord, and made of us a kingdom of our God. Let us pray. We're in the final bit. Almighty and everlasting God, who has appointed thine only begotten Son, to be the Redeemer of the world, and has been pleased to be reconciled unto us by his blood. Grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate with solemn worship the price of our salvation, that the power thereof 
may here on earth keep us from all things hurtful and the fruit of the same may gladden us for ever hereafter in heaven through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. On Wednesdays, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and God, we ask thee to render all spirits impotent, paralysed and ineffective in attempting to take revenge against any one of the members of this Auxilium Christianorum, our families, friends, communities, those who pray for us and their family members or anyone associated with us for whom the priests of the Auxilium Christianorum pray. We ask thee to bind all evil spirits, all powers in the air, the water, the ground, the fire underground, or wherever they exercise their powers, any satanic forces in nature and any and all emirates of the satanic headquarters. We ask thee to bind by thy precious blood all of the attributes, aspects and characteristics interactions, communications and deceitful games of the evil spirits. We ask thee to break any and all bonds, ties and attachments in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The conclusion for every day. August Queen of the Heavens, Heavenly Sovereign of the Angels, Thou who from the beginning hast received from God the power and the mission to crush the head of Satan, we humbly beseech thee to send thy holy legion so that under thy command and through thy power they may pursue the demons and combat them everywhere. Suppress their boldness and drive them back into the abyss. O oh, good and tender mother, thou wilt always be our love and hope. O Divine Mother, send thy holy angels to defend us and to drive far away from us the cruel enemy. Holy angels and archangels, defend us, guard us. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Virgin, most powerful, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Holy Michael the Archangel, pray for us. All ye holy angels, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you God's peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. So I'm now going to move the books out of my way so that I can just finish there. And I think I should, if I can reach the book, um, pray the one prayer that I didn't um, after reading sacred scripture. I must wish to do that. I expect many of you haven't heard those prayers, but they are the prayers of the church. They've been around for a very, very long time. After reading sacred scripture, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word you have spoken to me through the treasure of the scripture. Make these words a living reality in my life, a constant guide, a lamp for my feet, and a light to my path. Amen. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may put to death all sinful thoughts and actions. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may live as God's child. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may be free from slavery to sin. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may pray and cry out, Abba, Father. Lead me, O Holy Spirit, that I may possess the inheritance of grace that awaits me. Amen. And finally, come Holy Spirit and help us in our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we should. Intercede for us so that the one who sees into our hearts and knows our thoughts may hear our prayers. Amen. So God bless you all. I do really like when I see your comments there. I do appreciate it. It encourages me to keep going. <laughs> 
because sometimes I really get exhausted. God bless and good night. I'll be back with some butlers, but I don't know if I'll do it now or tomorrow or tonight.